Max, we got some upbeat music to match a very upbeat Heinemann um, at the effective launch of the complete execution of your store here at Sydney Airport, Mega B. Uh, and Mega it is. How important is it to you? I think Mega it is, yes. I like the upbeat music uh, to it. Um, I'm probably not allowed to dance at this point in time, but I will do very soon. Um, the shop is really important. Of course it is. We have a lot of important shops and locations in the world, but for this one, it was the chance to go, to go global. Um, not only for us as a company, as a family business, but for the Heinemann brand. Um, which, if you think about what we did in Europe, we invested a lot of money into the, into the evolution of this brand. And you need to take that step um, global at some point in time. So Sydney was perfect because it, it, it really brings in the European base, it has Oceania on the other side, and in the middle we have our stronghold in Singapore of Southeast Asia, etc. So we, we, we literally built that nice little hub um, in, in Asia Pacific. There's a very considerable investment here, and it's right. clear for all to see, apparently something like $20 million. Right. Um, you've had the added advantage of, of creating a store with incredible volume ceilings, and we're standing in the middle of um, something which is brand new for Heinemann, which is your fashion avenue. I mean, this is just one of a number of highlights for you. What for you are the key points of differentiation of this store? I think the key points is, first of all, what, we, what you call store. I, I, don't I, don't, I cannot call it a store. For me, a store, by definition, has an entry and an exit, um, literally to be realized by, by the passenger or customer. Um, here, you have that much space and which covers all categories, including F&B that we integrated into our location and, and store. That's the first for you uh, as well. It's the first, it's the first for sure. Um, it's working beautifully though, because the, the people don't have the realization that they are within the store. There's plenty of space here. There's plenty of space for uh, customers to breathe, to enjoy right. um, what's available to them, spend their time. And they've got a lot of dwell time here at the airport too. Correct. I mean, first, we were given the opportunity to do that here, which is fantastic because it's quite rare. Right? Usually you have a clear location of a shop um, where you have to build in your vision, etc. Here we went all out and were able to increase, almost double the space of what was here before and introduce much more categories, much more brands uh, in one go, which is fantastic. There um, must be almost 15,000 SKUs here. Probably more than that. I think Perfume Cosmetics, as this is quite sizable in, in, our, in our environment here as well, takes a lot of SKUs already. Um, with the fashion accessories adding to that, we, we reach probably 20,000 plus for sure. Yeah. That's extraordinary. Yeah. No, no. And you do have the space to house them. We do have the space to house them. We have to make use of the space. Um, I think as a retailer, I don't have to explain the calculations behind it, you know, per square meter um, profitability. Sure. Here we come, we, we border that calculation, we challenge it as well, because we are building our strategy on making just more people buy that weren't buying before, right? We try to keep the core, we try to make more passengers that weren't feeling so comfortable buying, buy more. And we thought we can only do that if we make them feel very, very comfortable and not negatively influenced by any retail, because that exists, right? We have to acknowledge that as a retailer, I think. And but, here, here we did that. But you're giving them permission to invest time right. and to spend. Correct, correct. And, and, and to be honest, from, from the airport's perspective, the operations are running very smoothly, right? We don't have passengers going through security or, or any of that sort being so frustrated. That happens in the world as well. But there are airports that lack that kind of operational excellence and Sydney Airport is doing a very good job on, on getting better and better uh, in doing so. And, and for us, that helps, right? I mean, you want people to to calm down. You want them to go through security and first calm down, not rush, not be in panic mode or anything like that. So that works because that's what we see. So the psychological effect on, on the retailing that we do here works according to the vision that we have. But the fact is you've actually exceeded your own expectations in terms of what you've delivered in terms of um, average spend per head. I mean, it's a remarkable story uh, in the last year given the fact that um, half the time this airport was in a state of build. Correct. I think last year was probably the time where we really exceeded our expectations because we had several constructions 
stages, transition stages, and reaching or surpassing the, the, the sales level of the year before where we weren't here to operate the store was for us a good success story and, and a good confidence boost for the future, for sure. That's um, actually a remarkable achievement. Thank you. It was, but to be honest, I think uh, you know we have to give it to uh, to our sales staff at this point in time because the motivation was the right one as well, right? I mean, this is frustrating. You go through so many different stages. It's 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 a lot of extra work happening in one year, and they did a phenomenal job. They were positive. They were well in selling, obviously. Um, so that 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 gave us a lot of confidence for for this year, which we see as the first full year of Heinemann operation. Do you think that with this particular execution, you're actually going to raise um, passengers' expectations of duty-free in the region? I hope so. In general, I hope so, because there's so much room for improvement and, and, and development. I think this is our job. As a retailer, we need to introduce new concepts. We need to introduce excitement um, on the journey of every passenger. To make them spend ultimately, but it's 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 something that, that they should take as a memory. Uh, and if we can raise the bar with this operation here, I think we even surpass our expectations there again. Um, I think it would be great. Do you think this will act as a benchmark for what the travel retail business can expect from Heinemann globally hereafter? Yes, I think if we set a benchmark, and I think we all agree that this is a next step in the evolution of the Heinemann brand. You can call it Heinemann 2.0, maybe 3.0, I'm not sure where we are at this point. Um, but I think it was an important step. It was an important step for us to, to bring everything under one roof. One final question, Max. If there was one statement you wanted to make about what you thought best expressed, best defined this particular Heinemann experience here in Sydney, what would it be? I think I have to take a statement that the passenger made rather than my own if I'm allowed to do that. Um, it was that we got feedback that this is probably the most beautiful store they've ever seen at an airport. Talking about beautiful in this kind of environment, which is in a certain way always hectic, regardless of how much room you give, is an achievement and is something that we have to build on because we like to build beautiful stores today and in the future. And I think that's really important, also connected to the Heinemann brand. It's our job.